Undead was a 2003 released Australian zombie comedy horror. Zomedy. Zomedy. Yeah. Oh, that's a good word. Uh, Zomedy, <laughs> directed by the Spirit Brothers. Yeah, it's um, focused on a small fishing town out of the blue. Some meteorites start coming down and turning people into zombies, as they do. So there's a band of survivors that uh, group together and uh, hide out in various places and try to survive the impending apocalypse. So yes, as I mentioned earlier, it was directed by the Spirit Brothers. That's Michael and Peter, two Australians. I think they were originally from Germany. Um, it was their first film. They did a few, it was a few shorts they did beforehand. Yeah. Um, but this was their first, uh, their feature debut length. feature length film. And then after this one, they did Daybreakers. Yep. And Predestination, which is excellent. <laughs> Saw the other day. Yeah, it's, it's good, good. Little, good little time travel. Very film, good yeah. film, yeah. And then, well, is, is it out? Jigsaw? Yeah, Jigsaw's just come out. Yeah, they directed the new, the return of, of Jigsaw. Um, Saw film, yeah. Yeah, Saw 8. Eight. So, yes. Wow. <laughs> so I haven't seen it yet, but you know, it looks okay. It looks like it's sort of a going back to the original one, really, a bit more, uh, a bit more of a thriller, yes, of a gore fest. Well, I'm not a Saw fan, but no. because I liked Predestination, I'm willing to give it a go. <laughs> okay. I don't think you know a lot. Of, by the end of the Saw films, you kind of had to have seen them all to get what the hell was going on. But obviously, this one sort of is a a reboot. If right. You must. Oh, that's right. So that's cool. you, know, I, I you don't, don't need to have seen the others. I don't want to. So I'll good. just go with this one. <laughs> and there's another one that I think they filmed. It's coming out next year called Winchester. It's a ghost story. It's got Helen Mirren in it, but I don't know Sounds anything good. about it other than that. So they're quite busy still, <laughs> and it stars well. We're not going to go through all the uh, all the actors because quite a few of them, and not many of them are well known outside of Australia. Um, but the main two. Uh, Marion and Renee. Mm-hmm. Well, Marion is played by um, Mungo. Mac- was it Mungo M- McKay? Mungo McKay, which is a great name. I don't know if it's a real name, but uh, <laughs> I hope so. oh yeah, we do hope so. <laughs> but it's a cool name. Uh, he's not done. Um, I think he's done. I think he was in a couple of the other films by the Spirit Brothers, um, and some TV stuff. And then Renee, the young uh, lady in it. Um, well, in the film, she's kind of depicted the beauty queen. She's a yeah. catch of the day, which I think is. Great title for a fishing community beauty pageant. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Um, she's played by Felicity Mason. Again, she's some TV work um, and a few other things. She's a visual artist. She's also she's had a couple of exhibitions in Australia and America. Um, and she did a short film uh, a few years ago called Oral Lick Records. Oral Lick. Oral Lick. Yeah, so right. kind of a mockumentary about um, you know wannabe musicians getting into the music and a bit like kind of pop idol type thing. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and I think she wrote it, and she's also she plays all the characters in it. It's a bit Monty Python esque, but I'll chuck the link down because it's on Vimeo and it's worth it's worth checking out if you like a bit of Aussie humour. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of the main cast. Um, we won't go through anyone else. No, <laughs> there's lots of you know. It's, it's very Aussie. You know, there's a there's a very loud, obnoxious cop in there, and yeah. there's there's a pregnant girl who also doesn't like Renee because she stole the she stole the, the beauty. beauty queen crown from her or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, lots of you know, if you've seen any Australian films, horror films, then you you know you know the kind of characters to expect. You know, and there's lots of laughs to be had from there. Yeah, it's very funny, isn't it? It's good overuse of swearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but apparently I was uh, I was reading. Apparently they didn't write any swearing, and they, all they? the actors ad libbed their swearing <laughs> in, so they kept it. Excellent, which is which is great. Yeah, so it's not just the dialogue that that's full of laughs. It's the some of the gory zombie deaths are quite comedic as well. Um, lots of visual gags. Um, if you don't mind a bit of gore, anything no, people being that, ripped apart is funny. That, that great <laughs> shovel shovel in the head boots yeah, quite amusing. Yeah, and there's like, some. Torso list legs wandering around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's obviously it's. I think it's definitely a nod to, well, Australia. Well, sorry, New Zealand's own um, Peter Jackson yeah. and, and Bad Taste and mm. Brain Dead and those two early films, but also Evil Dead. I mean, is is that the horror comedy aspect? Mm. I mean, it's not. It's not scary, but zombie no. films rarely are ever art um, but uh, it's it's full of you know sight gags and, yeah. and one liners and, and things like that so yeah if you like films like Bad Taste um, Brain Dead Evil Dead and oh Shaun of the Dead lots of deads in there obviously um, <laughs> you can't have a zombie film without the word dead in the you title, can't really right? no 
Um, then I recommend if you don't know this one, I recommend checking it out yeah. because it's you know it's good. It's not it's not amazing, obviously. It is only a low budget film. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, like Evil Dead and 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 Bad Taste, who are also low budget. You know, it's it's the first feature for these for these two directors. And, yeah, of course. You know, and it shows. Yeah, you know, some of the acting isn't the best. Maybe the script could have done with you know polishing a bit and the effects you know are done cheaply and that's but that's what it is it is a low budget indie film so it's not going to have you know all the the cgi effects of you know like no World it was Wars quite Zed interesting because like i mean a lot of the effects are cgi yeah and they were done kind of on their laptops yeah which yeah i mean if you're not a fan of cgi blood and gore which no. i'm not really but i think the effort that has gone into this mm. film kind of Let's for me that that let lets that go. I mean, I, they've done quite you know a good job. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. I mean, I would say you know it's probably aged worse than like Evil Dead and, and Bad Taste probably, because, because practical that. effects don't by their own nature don't tend to age as as fast no, because of you know they look the same. But but obviously CGI advances every year, yeah. so you know <laughs> you know there's plenty of big budget films from like ten fifteen years ago where the CGI looks terrible by today's standards. So, you know, you can't really judge it, A, because it's, you know, it's, it's over 10 years old. Uh, well, it's 15 years old now, isn't it? Well, almost. And, you know, and it was done cheap in the first place. So, you know, the effects were, <laughs> were never top notch to begin with. But um, if you can, you know, if you can forgive that and appreciate, you know, that it was done on a low budget, um, then I think you get more out of it. If you go in expecting, you know, perfection, then, <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get it, unfortunately, no. from the effects anyway. So can you see it? Yes, yeah, so if you want to check it out, <clears throat> you can get it on DVD, like this one. Um, it's probably, oh, I don't know if it's streaming anywhere, it might be. But um, there's some quite good extras on here. If, you, you know, if you're interested in indie filmmaking and you know, how they did a lot of it on a, you know, on a low budget, um, there's lots of behind the scenes features that, you know, I think on, on films like this, they're always far more interesting than they are on bigger budget ones because... It's always the same, really, isn't it? There's lots of people in front of green screens and yeah, the the actors whole, um, talking about how wonderful their characters are. Whereas in this, you know, you see you see them, you know, exhausted <laughs> from from working so hard on the film. Yeah, um, mate, the whole special um, special features on on big budget films now have become a bit kind of samey and yeah, it's so just there, and, you know, it's just to fill up some space on the disc, really, isn't it? To it's be much, honest, much nicer to get to the meat of what how they did things exactly, and there's, why you, they did things. There's a, a and why you should never do it yourself. Oh well, <laughs> well, if you want to, there is a, a homemade dolly construction video. If you want to know how they made their dolly, really, so, there is. Yeah. So, oh. if you've got um, you know some steel and you know how to weld and things like that, then then that will show you how to do it. Um, Excellent. If you know, if you if you want it on Blu-ray, it is available in Australia, unsurprisingly, and I think somewhere in Europe. I think maybe Norway. Had a Blu-ray release of it as well, that's so random. It is, yeah. <laughs> but um, that—that's the only Blu-rays I could find. Um, how, how good quality they are, I don't, I don't know. But um, but you know, it's not hard to find the DVD if you want to check it out. Um, I mean, maybe it'll be on TV at some point because obviously they've got a new movie out, Jigsaw. But I think, to be honest, most channels will probably show Predestination or Daybreakers or something, <laughs> wouldn't they? I guess so. I um, guess so. Yeah. But yeah, not not hard to find if you want to if you want to check it out. So that was Undead. We hope you enjoyed this video. That's the end of the Halloween month that we did, yep. uh, suggesting some horror films for you. So next week we shall be going back to normal programming with something that's not horror, although it's not to say we won't be doing horror again in the future because that was quite fun. Mm -hmm. Horror movies are always great to watch yep. and talk about. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, do all that kind of crazy stuff. Check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Do that. Uh, check out some of the other videos which should be coming along in a few seconds. Yep. And other than that, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye.